Let's do it. Attention, deficit kicking in. Keep that. Don't mention, deficit kicking in. Don't mention. Attention, deficit kicking in. Don't mention. Don't really wanna deal with tension now. I know. Don't really wanna deal with tension now. I know. Attention, deficit kicking in. Don't mention. Don't really wanna deal with tension now. I know. I'm asking, so tell me what's your plan? Been crashing. You say I'm overly dramatic now. But you can find me where the wild things are. I think we can take things far. Show me all your deepest scars and let me find a way to your heart. Hey, you won't understand how I feel while I take. All the time to heal It's okay, I can't change what's real Can't move me, I just remain still Dramatic now Where the wild things are I think we can take things far Show me all your deepest scars And let me find a way to your heart so if the reason why you're not using Pro Tools is because it looks complicated as fuck, this template is super easy to record. So once you open my template, it's gonna probably be blank right here. I already have a session kind of imported. What you gotta do is hit Command Shift I, Control Shift I if you're on PC, find your beat, double click on the beat, click open. It's gonna pop up another folder to see where you wanna save your file to. Click open like that, boom. Wait for it to process the audio. Then you wanna hit clip list. Double click on this sidebar right here where you get this icon of the double arrows. Find the highlighted beat drag drop after you want to do that you want to make sure that your scale and bpm is set correctly it is highly important that you get these two steps right and then the rest of the process is super easy with this template we went on to tombat.com analyzer dragged our beat in and we got d major 70 bpms this little red marker double click that 70 bpm zoom into the first initial transient and then make sure that this red BPM marker is lined up to our first transient so everything is lined up on grid. You see how all these transients are lined up on the line here? After you set that up, make sure your key is set right. In my template, I have the Waves real-time auto-tune. Find the key. For me, it's gonna be D major. You wanna set the recording track to D major. You wanna hold Option or Alt if you're on PC and you're gonna hold and click and drag and drop this to every single track that you have your vocals in. So just like Now you are ready to fucking rock and roll, man. All you gotta do, hit this button right here to record arm. Make sure on the options tab, it is selected the quick punch, command space bar. We're recording. After you record, you wanna use this grabber tool or you highlight this right here to get your smart tool and it's gonna automatically decide what tool you're gonna use when you're clicking on certain areas of the track. I personally recommend you get used to the hotkeys and then all you gotta do is drag and drop. Do it again. Click on the timeline up top, command space for drag and drop. With my template, you're not going to get a final product. I feel like this is where a lot of people scam you when it comes to buying a template is because they advertise it as, oh, this is a final mix. You're going to get sound like exactly like this dude's vocals right here. For my template, it is a good starting point. Everybody's voice is different. So I'm not going to sit here and say, oh yeah, these settings are going to make you sound like you're the next fucking Drake. It's not going to do that. What my template will offer you is a starting point in which you can record onto and get close to what a mix would sound like. However, you would still need to fine tune all these settings to match your vocals. So you don't have to think about how complicated Pro Tools is. You could just get straight to creating two you're gonna wanna fine tune some of these settings, either A, by sending me a mix and having me mix your vocals, or you are gonna have to open these plugins yourself and move these knobs around. They're already gonna be in a good starting position, so you don't gotta move it too much. Just move it little by little, just like this, just like this, until you hear it in your headphones, like, mm, that shit right there, perfect. 
on top of that, this is good for rap. This is good for R&B. This is good for really any genre. So let's run down the plugins that you get in my template. So we start with an SSL channel. It is clearing up a lot of the lower frequencies as well as adding in a little bit of air to your vocals. You need this because when you're recording on a mic, it sounds very unnatural at first. This will help your vocals sit more in pocket with the frequencies in a lot of different beats. That is my thought process with the SSL channel. No bullshit. After that, I got the de here. The de self-explanatory. It's going to, every time you hit an S, it's going to immediately tame it. That way, your vocals aren't fucking piercing every time you hit an S. Next is the compressor. You, know, you could be singing hella quiet at one part, and then all of a sudden, you're getting hella louder. You're getting hella aggressive at another part. This part's just going to control all that to make sure you sit right in pocket with the beat. Next up is my EQ. Is adding in a roll-off to capture any other lower frequencies that you might not need down here. Like if you accidentally hit the mic stand. Like if you're recording in a room, like your AC or some shit. This is going to cut all that shit out. I'm boosting a little bit of the high end for more air in your vocals to cut through. Let's go over the setup here. This is is where you're gonna record your vocals in and you're gonna drag and drop it to these lead punch-ins right here. These are gonna be your main vocal tracks. If you have a hook and you wanna separate it, click here, right click, duplicate and make two of these and uncheck these first three boxes. Say you need more tracks, you know, boom, there you go. You just duplicate. It's all in order. The oxes are always gonna be on the bottom of where the tracks are routed out to. Then we have our telephone effect. So say for instance, you wanna telephone one bar, you could drag and drop it, put it down to that effects bar that I have for you set up right there. Then we have our mute tracks. Say you record a good idea, but it's not something that you wanna keep, drag and drop it into these mute tracks that I have here. After our lead vocal processing, we have the ad lib tracks. Record on this, holy shit. We're gonna record the ad libs here, drag and drop to the ad lib tracks. Same thing as always, my thought process when the ad libs, I cut out a lot more low ends and it's compressing a little bit harder. As you can see, my input is dragged up because for my background vocals, you don't want it to be too dynamic. You don't want it to come in and out too much. You want it to sit in a certain space and stay there. After that, I have my doubles on this particular track. I like the fact that the doubler gave me that phase effect where it's like coming down in the left and right without you having to have two separate tracks panned. If you don't want that on your double track, you could easily bypass this and set these two tracks to left and right like that. Now you can record two takes or duplicate it and make four and have those as your left and right background vocals all these vocals are routing to an all vocal aux so say you wanted to add in your little tape emulators right here at the j37 you don't want to record with this on it's going to introduce latency so every time you're talking in the mic it's going to be lagged a little bit after you're done recording you could activate it and play around with the speed and the formula and that will allow you to receive texture over the top of your vocals after that i have all of my sends you can go easily to any of these vocal tracks and go to bus and add any one of these sends so you can see my verb, my eighth delay, my, my 16th note delay, my slap delay, my doubler effect, my deep voice effect. In the print, I just have the L2 boosting up the overall volume of the track. Then we have the WLM Plus. And this is just to check your levels right here on the short term and long term. I like to really hover around negative 14 when I'm recording in and then boost it up to like negative nine at the end if need to be. If you're done, you double click on the timeline. It'll highlight the whole top file bounce mix name your track final folder export if you guys want to purchase this template it's going to be in the description below as you can see it's super easy if you guys want me to mix your song send me your song through an email and we can work out a price don't forget to subscribe because i got a lot of high value stuff that i want to get out to y'all like the video comment below if this shit has helped you peace out thank y'all for watching